Russian soldiers have attacked Vovchansk city in Kharkov region and captured a hospital located in the northern part of the city, Russian telegram channels reported on Saturday. All Russian soldiers in the building were killed as a result of the Ukrainian strike. According to the reports, a missile struck the hospital building in the city. The strike was delivered either by a GLSDB launched from an M-142 HIMARS rocket launcher or a JDAM bomb launched from a MiG-29 aircraft, according to the reports. According to Ukrainian reports, Russian attacks on Vovchansk has killed a woman and injured four other civilians. On May 18, the invaders attacked the city of Vovchansk once again. A 60-year-old woman was killed. Two civilian men aged 55 and 60, as well as two other local residents aged 68, were injured, Ukrainian prosecutor's office reported. The village of Ukrainsk in Vovchansk Kromata also came under enemy fire today. A 59-year-old civilian man was injured, according to the prosecutor's office statement. Earlier, the office reported that two civilians were killed when their car came under Russian fire as they attempted to evacuate from the town of Vovchansk. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said on Friday that Vovchansk was a key Russian target in the Kharkiv region, as Russians seek to control the area 10 kilometers from the border. However, the situation is now stabilized, he added. Russia is conducting a large-scale attack on Kharkiv region. Last week, Kremlin announced opening a new front in the war. Situation remains tense in Vovchansk as both sides seek to capture strategically important objects. Due to glide bombs, Russia gains land in Ukraine. One critical factor in Russia's recent battlefield successes in Ukraine is its extensive use of glide bombs. Every week, hundreds of these large, deadly weapons rain down on Ukraine, creating 20-meter-wide craters and obliterating military positions and entire settlements. Russia has heavily relied on glide bombs in its new offensive on Kharkiv Oblast, clearing the way for ground troops. Since May the 10th, Russian forces have captured several villages near the border and entered the town of Vovchansk. Despite their simplicity and low cost, glide bombs have become one of Russia's most effective weapons during the full-scale war, previously contributing to the fall of the strategic city of Avdiivka in February, Russia's first major gain in nine months. Experts warn that these bombs could pose an even greater threat to Ukraine, which currently has little defense against them, as Russia is expected to continue its mass deployment of glide bombs to support further offensive operations. A glide bomb is a standard air-dropped bomb modified to be launched from a distance rather than directly over the target. Converting a dumb bomb, an unguided one, into a smart one costs just around $20,000, making it a much cheaper alternative to cruise and ballistic missiles that cost millions of dollars to produce. The range of these weapons greatly varies based on their weight, the altitude and speed of the releasing aircraft, but is generally considered not to exceed 50 to 60 kilometers, according to Federico Borsari, Leonard Fellow with the Transatlantic Defense and Security Program at the Center for European Policy Analysis. This range allows Russian jets to stay out of reach of those Ukrainian air defense systems typically deployed near the front lines. Russian glide bombs can be extremely heavy. The most powerful glide bomb currently used against Ukraine weighs around 1.5 tons, nicknamed the Building Destroyer by Russian military bloggers. Moscow has also announced the production of new glide bombs such as the 3.4-ton Fab 3000 and the Drell 
which contains cluster munitions. Russian forces began using glide bombs against Ukraine early last year to compensate for the lack of precision-guided munitions.